Cam sat down on the bench. She ran her fingers through her hair. Cam had what people call bright red hair, even though it was more orange than red. Eric's hair was dark brown. Do you think they'll catch him? Eric asked. You shouldn't be too hard, Cam said. Almost everyone between here and the other end of the mall saw which way he went. Eric was still feeling howy. Are you almost finished? Cam asked. Almost. Good, then we can go ask those two old women what happened inside the jewelry store. Eric took the bottle out of Howie's mouth and set it down on the bench. He held Howie a daisy shoulder and patted his back. Howie burped. Okay, Eric announced, we are ready. Eric carried Howie and Cam pushed the carriage. They went over to the next bench. <coughs> My, what a cute baby, the woman with the cane said. Is it a boy or a girl? Boy. The woman looked straight at Howie and asked, Where's your mother, little boy? He doesn't talk yet, Eric told her. Oh, I'm his brother. My mother took the twins shopping for clothes. I'm watching him until they're done. Clothes? Well, they're lucky they're not shopping for jewelry. Why, Cam asked, what happened inside the jewelry store? The woman put her hand to her cheek. She took, she shook her head slowly. Oh, it was horrible. We were there when the man came in and pointed a gun right at Mr. Parker. Diamonds, he said, every loose one you got. Mr. Parker gave him a whole pile of diamonds. You know, the kind he uses to make earrings. The man took them all, then he made Mr. Parker lie face down on the floor. Isn't that right, Esther? Yes, the other woman said, nodding her head. He was terribly impolite. Then the first woman went on. He pointed his gun straight at us. He didn't dare to talk to us the way he talked to Mr. Parker. He didn't rub either of us. He just said, ladies, turn around and face the wall and you won't get hurt. There was a nice young couple in the store too. They had their baby with them. A cute little girl. I heard the man with the gun tell them to face the wall too. It was horrible the way we stayed that way with our faces to the wall until Mr. Parker told us it was safe to leave. The woman stopped talking. Someone was shouting. They all turned to see where the noise was coming from. The policemen were coming back. There were four of them now, handcuffed to one policeman. It was a tall man in dark suit. I didn't do it, the man yelled. You got the wrong man. We'll let Mr. Parker decide, the policeman said. Cam was all excited. That's him. They got him. That's the man who ran out of of Parker's. I remember that moustache, that dark suit, and that ugly green tie. Well, he may be the man who ran out of the store, the woman with the chain declared. But he's not the man who robbed Mr. Parker, is he, Esther? No, he's, that's not him. I'm sure of it.